If you're familiar with email, you're probably familiar with spam. These emails are emails that most everyone gets and they could include scammer emails, marketing emails, or pretty much anything that just isn't meant to end up in your personal or professional inbox. Now, spam also comes into Gmail. It's no different from any other email platform in that regard, but there are ways in which we can handle spam. So, if I'm getting some emails that I think may be spam that aren't ending up in my spam folder automatically, because Google does have an algorithm for that, what I can do is actually block the email address that it's coming from. So I've created a label previously for Slack as I have quite a few emails come into my inbox from Slack since Aeromar is now connected to that program. But perhaps I'm getting to the point with all these Slack emails where maybe I'd want to unsubscribe from these emails or just block that email address altogether. So what I can do here is click into one of these emails. And as you can see, I have the option to unsubscribe right here at the top. But what I could do is on the right hand side, I can click more and I could go down and click on block Slack. I could also report this email as being a spam email. Now if I do that, that alerts Google's algorithm to actually take all of these emails and place them in my spam folder. I could also report this as being a phishing attempt, which is a certain type of spam email. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to block Slack and this will say future messages from Slack will be marked as spam. So I can consider to block that. And then you'll see up at the top here that you have blocked this email address and new messages will be sent to spam. You could also choose to move this message or previous message to your spam folder as well. Now let's say that maybe you decide you don't want to block an email address. Maybe I was getting annoyed with some of the emails I was getting from Slack, but now I'm finding out you know they're not spam and there actually may be an important message coming from them at one point that maybe I want to keep my eye out for. What I can do is unblock that email address. And I can do that from within here by clicking on Unblock Sender. Or I could go into my backend settings over here, click on Settings, go back into the tab for Filters and Blocked Addresses. And then down here, you'll see the following email addresses are blocked. Messages from these addresses will appear in spam. The only one there right now is Slack. And if I so choose, I can click on that and choose to unblock the address. Now as soon as I do that, I will again begin to receive messages from Slack and they won't be sent straight to my spam folder. So very easy to apply that sort of block to any email addresses that you think may be spam. And always be sure to report spam or phishing attempts so that Google's algorithms can get better as well in detecting what might be a spam email for you. We hope this video helped. Make sure to click the thumbs up and click the subscribe button right here and click the link above to check out our Limelight classes, a free virtual live training. See you in the next video.